All right, let's 3D scan using the LPX Easy Studio. First thing we need to do is we need to have uh, a toggle. A toggle is a USB uh, flash drive type device that has the codes for the software. This must be put in into the front of the workstation into the USB drive. So you need to see Professor Bordeaux to get that toggle. Next, we need to launch the application. We can do that from the desktop by double clicking on our desktop shortcut, or I can go down into my start menu, go into all programs, and I can go over here to my Roland LPX Easy Studio, and then come down and click on the LPX Easy Studio, and it will launch the software. One, make sure your uh, 3D laser, uh, in this case the Roland uh, Pixa uh, LPX 600 is on, so make sure it's on. Now I'm going to come up in my upper right hand corner where the basic panel is here. And you'll see it says number of planes. This is the number of scanning planes. I'm going to leave it at default, but the higher the number you go, the higher quality scan you will get. Uh, but it will be slower uh, in amount of time and larger file size. Um, and so I go lower, lower is going to be less precise lower quality but it will have a smaller file size and it will scan quicker. I'm going to do a preview scan. Preview scan is just going to find the outline of the object. So in this case it will just go and build the outline of the object and determine where the object is in the term uh, table of the 3D scanner. And uh, it takes a while. It's it's initializing essentially over here on the 3D scanner. I can see uh, my uh, lights going around in a circle, and uh, it's communicating back and forth. It hasn't started anything yet. The turntable is spinning, uh, and it's trying to figure out. Okay, here we go. So it built an outline on the bottom, and then a little higher up, it builds another outline of the object. And I'm scanning an old-fashioned pencil sharpener, like in grade school that was mounted on a wall. And you can see it then goes a little higher up in the z-values and builds an outline, builds an outline. It's just trying to figure out where the thing is in, in its space, in its 3D space. So this is not the actual scan. This is just a preview scan. Its whole purpose is to determine like, where everything really is at this point. And... Uh, so that helps things out to figure out, okay, where is it, how big it is, um, you know, and that will help then with uh, everything down the road at this point. And you can see it's now getting up near the top of the, uh, of the uh, pencil sharpener. And uh, you can even hear it, the 3D scanner making its noises now that the turntable has stopped, I have all of my uh, slices, uh, sections, if you will, of this object. And across the top, I can come over here and look at different views if I like. Um, but at this point, it's not that big of a deal. Now, you can see it's from that preview scan, it has calculated then using the number of planes of five planes that my scan time is 35 minutes. It, it might range anywhere from 20 minutes to 94 minutes, but it's estimating its scan time at 35 minutes. So I'm going to leave it at five planes and I'm going to start the scan. I'm just going to hit the big scan button at this time. If you want to cancel, you just hit stop. But I'm going to hit scan and I'm going to let scan for a while. And we'll stick around for the video in the beginning, but I'll stop the video and then we'll come back near the end of the scan. So here we go. I'm just going to hit scan. And it starts all over now. Now is the actual scan. It's going to go through and it's going to uh, prepare uh, information, communication back and forth to the uh, 3D printer. The 3D printer turntable is starting to spin. And it's going to go on a plane. In other words, it's got five different planes and it's measuring uh, basically 20% of the data. It's measuring all its data points going up. And you can see it's starting to measure all them little data points uh, in there. 
So it's measuring all kinds of little data points and building across in, in there as it goes up. So uh, this is going to take a while, so we're going to take a little break and we'll come back uh, to this uh, shortly.